Ah, pogs. Do you remember them? I remember them. No, not that type of pog. This type of pog. Yes, today I have an interesting video. Um, and something I've been quite looking forward to doing uh, for a while now, and that is taking a look at this collection of pogs that I bought from a charity shop, which were marked as Pog-like Game. Um, so for those of you who don't know, as you can see here, I'm going to open them in a second, but they're kind of like small um, cardboard discs, and they're usually themed after certain um, brands and stuff. And there was a kind of game to be played with them, so apparently you stack the cardboard pogs up, and then there's slammers, which are thicker metal or rubber or plastic things that you smash down on the top of the stack, and the, the pogs that fall face up are taken by the players or something. I'm not fully sure. I remember these as a kid, um, but admittedly, I remember more fondly Tazos, which uh, I may be touching on in a later video in this series. Yes, indeed, this is going to be a series, as you've noticed, uh, but more on that later. Anyway, first up, as I mentioned, I found this in a charity shop, uh, which is filled with a random assortment of pogs. Now, I was just going to open it up myself, but I thought, well, this would make for a really interesting video. So I'm going to open them up, I'm going to try and categorise them maybe, we'll take a look at each individual one of course as well, and then we'll just take an overview at the end, there should be about, I don't know, I'm saying like 50 to 100 in here, it's really hard to tell. But right, without further ado, I'm going to go undo this annoying sellotape, and then we'll crack into it. Alright, it is opened up, and man, that cell tape was well, uh, well guarded. So, because these are so small, I'm going to have to lower the camera a little bit, and I'm also going to be using this book as a background, because it's a bit more neutral. Uh, for those interested, this is Mythology of the British Isles by Geoffrey Ash. It's a pretty decent read, um, very academic. I... I wouldn't recommend it as a light read, but you know, it is quite interesting. So anyway, I am going to lower the camera a little bit now, so I'll be right back. Alright, that should do it. So because these are quite small, um, I'm going to crack it open quickly. Now, I've specifically not really looked at many of these. I've seen a few, there's one or two that's kind of excited me. But in general, I want to keep the surprise to myself. So what I'm going to do is put her off to the side there. Uh, move any dust from this book. I don't think there's any more. Good. And I'm just going to grab them and we'll take a look. Uh, so, as I said, some of these are going to be themed after like cartoons and stuff, and some of them I think are their own brand. So, the first up, we've got a monster cap. Seems to be a fish with lots of uh, flamingos looking at it. And one says chemo. Okay. Ah, one point, Mad Monster Caps, and this is by, Sup uh, it's a World Caps Super Caps Authentic Federation, it's number 15. Okay, that's a Mad Monsters Cap, very nice, maybe, I don't know. Next up, I'm going to move these over, ooh, okay, that's an, is that Monster Cops? Is he a Monster Cop? Okay, interesting, I'm really liking that design actually. And that indeed is another authentic World Caps Monster Cap. Hey, that's number two, also one point. I'll put that to the side there, which is actually off screen, so that means nothing to you guys. Ooh, next up, uh, 1994 K Caps Inc. We've got a an old man with like a head and an arm and some flippers and a tank and... A flag of some kind. Interesting. Ooh. So this this is Z caps. Z caps? Or is it just caps and the Zs? I don't know. But it's number 18. Cool. I'm going to put that in a separate pile. I'm going to have a lot of different piles, I imagine, by the end. Because when I collected caps when I was younger... Caps? When I collected uh, pogs when I was younger, I had about 19,000 different varieties. Ooh. We've got a, like... Half zombie guy, jellyfish, punk thing. Inter Are those his? Uh, I thought those were like his veins, entrails, but I think it's just his um, hair. Hey, there we are. That, of course, is a, a super caps as well. 97. Oh my god, this series is massive. I was expecting like 20 or something. 97? Okay then. Ooh, yo! 
Yo, look at that. Okay, we got a hollow monster cap. Okay. That, yo, that's really nice, actually. I'm, I'm really liking the design. Is it, yeah, you can kind of feel it. Yo, it's a gold. I don't know I don't know the significance of that, but it's 133. Jesus Christ, how big is this series? 10 points as well. It's pretty nice. I'm liking the dollar bills in his eyes. Pretty nice. That's a monster caps. So I think the pile on the right in this box, which you guys can't see, are all monster caps, maybe? Uh, cap. Chemo. I don't know what chemo means, but apparently it's a big thing. Um, he's been th shot through the head and his head is disintegrating. Fair enough. That is number 59 of the... Ma of the what's it called? Monster caps. Super caps. Sorry, not monster caps. Although some of them... I'm sure that some of them said monster caps, right? Oh, oh, we got a double here. Okay, fair enough, 97. Now put that in like a separate pile for doubles. I don't know where, like, where you'd have got these, really. Did they come in... So I know Tazos came with crisps and stuff, or um, potato chips in the US. But did you buy packs of them or something? I don't know. But this is a wrapped-up mummy, dude. Chemo again, so this is definitely a super cap. So, ooh, 99. Fresh 99. I'm going to try and order these at the end of the video, and we'll... Have a nice little look. Oh, yo, we got another hollow. Is this gold? Yeah, that's gold, boy. So we got, like, an adventurer or something? Wait, what does that say? Monsters family? Um, okay, is that, like, uh, a child? Like, a, a weird zombie child holding a gecko or something? So this is a gold one as well. Yeah, 129 gold. Dude, all right then, that's, uh, that's two valuable ones. These do not have value, I am sure. Oh, oh, okay, cool. Hey, we got a Mayan kind of person then. You can tell from the um, the weird pyramids from the Mayan period. It says Kimo there. So Kimo must be the artist, right, I'm presuming? Um, yeah, yo, okay, so gold caps is in the bag. And, of course, this is 124 gold. Very nice. All right then. Man, we got a we got a decent amount of gold ones. That's pretty cool. Uh, Matt, yeah. what? So uh, yeah, so it's like up backwards and upside down. No, that e is upside down. Okay, mad caps, and he's like a robot. The hell is going on there? Did someone? Oh, someone drew one. Oh, there's something slightly sticky on this one. I think someone drew on it with, like, ink or something, and over the years, obviously, it's... Oh, okay. Lovely. Oh! Okay, so this is a different... A different series? Madcaps? Interesting. Like, it's got a different back to it, a 17, so... And I put that to the side, because that's the same company, but, like... A different thing? Ooh, Madfly. Ooh, ooh, I'm liking the uh, snake there. That's interesting. That fly looks like he is on a trip. Um, interesting. Ah, okay, we got another red madcaps. So that's a different series. Well, again, they're not a different series really, but, you know. Ooh, yo. Yo, this is cool. Madcaps, is that? Yeah, that's got, like, it's embossed and stuff. If you, No, oh, wait, no, I think it's just in really bad condition and bent and stuff. Okay, never mind. But there's a half-eaten shark about to be eaten by this angry mouth thing. Hey, that's a red light caps. What? Okay, so that I I'll put that again then to the different. Wait, what was the? What were these ones called? Yeah, these. Oh, mad monster caps. Hang on, wait. Right. Okay, so the ones the black backs are mad monster caps, and then the red are mad caps, and then light caps. I wonder if these, like, glow in the dark, maybe. Sorry, I'm fully off camera here. I couldn't really tell you, to be honest, because I, I can't get it dark enough, but... Mm, it's it, looking like maybe they glowed in the dark years ago or something. Another mad cap, I believe, which is... Ooh. Um, an elk? Or a dinosaur? Yet again, drawn by Kimo, who's like a butler or something, and he's got, like, weird... he got, like, a bottle opener on one of his antlers and, like, a corkscrew on the other. And that is two points. Okay. All right, next up, we have... Oh, poppets? 
Oh, you, is this a Poppet, like, licensed one? So they're, like, sweets, right? Um, I don't know if they're in the US. And what's that? Fiet? Poffet? Something Fet? Okay. Interesting. Man, that art is incredible. Uh, zooms. So these are zigzag zooms. Pop it in your face. So I think this is a British one, probably. Um, just because your, your face is kind of like very um, 90s British. Zigzag zooms also sounds like... Yeah, okay, cool. I'll put that to the side then. Are we going to get more zigzag zooms? Ooh, oh, yo! Secret Weapon, Limited Edition, hello! That's a Chinese character, uh, if anyone can translate that, that would be cool. L5. Slammer, Slammer Whammers, Special Edition, Collector Cap. Well, there we are, I have a Secret Weapon, Limited Edition, Slammer Whammer. Uh, ooh, oh, hang on. Wait, is this... That's textured as well. Madcaps, by Kimo again, obviously. Madfly. Okay, fair enough. And this is a light cap. Right, I'm going to put my hand over this for a second. Right, I can confirm this does very, very slightly glow in the dark. Um, I think, well, it hasn't had much sun exposure, to be honest. But, yeah. So, what I'm feeling there is actually glow in the dark stuff. So, the fish one as well probably glows in the dark. Uh, oh, oh, we got a e, we got a double, but this one isn't bent. That's pretty cool. That's a light cap, so I'm going to put the like the bent one over here, which is the one that's in not good condition, to the side. Very nice, cool. Oh, oh sorry, I'm flipping over. Um, we got a. Is is he okay? Madcaps. Is it a skunk or a panda or a bear? By chemo again. Uh, this is another glue in the dark one. That seems to have rubbed off a little bit there. But yeah, light cap. Wow, 115. Okay, so they they made these glowy ones uh, quite a quite a big series as well. Oh, we got a zombie. Oh my Jesus Christ! We got chemo 95 zombies. Uh, we got like a baby zombie thing. <laughs> really not digging that one. Well, uh, light caps again. And maybe, so I think some of these piles have, like, gone into each other, like, um, which is why I'm grabbing from different series, technically. Super Silence! So is he meant to be, like, a superhero, but his power is Silence? SS? Ooh, you, hmm, you, you don't, you don't want a uniform to say the SS at the moment. Uh, yeah, oh, okay, um... <laughs> Interesting. Also, his nostrils look like eyes as well. It looks like he's got a weird eye. Yeah, that's a very strange one. That's a mad caps. Cool. Uh, what is the. Ooh. Oh, we got like um, uh, a monkey, a sort of zombie monkey spitting blood with a ear piercing for some reason. Another mad caps. Fair enough. Um, this is very peak 90s, where the artwork's a little bit off-putting and, like, gross. Ooh, Abyss. Okay, so this is Madcaps, Abyss. I'm really liking this one, actually. It's an anglerfish, I guess? Yeah, there we are. Oh, all right, it's meant, to, it's meant to be that way, obviously, because you can read everything, apart from chemo, which is sideways. Yeah! So this is a light-up one as well. You can kind of tell. Um, light caps. There we go. I am really liking some of the artwork, and the other artwork is like, eh, it's it's fine. We've got, okay, this one doesn't have a title, but it's like, it's like a buffalo skull, but it's cracked in the middle. And it's like, kind of got Native American stuff going on, because it's got the feathers, maybe. And there's the sun, it's in the desert. That's a madcaps thought as much. Uh, oh, that's pretty cool. I'm liking that. That's quite, um, that's quite, like, simple, in a sense, isn't it? It's like, it's a weird creature whose mouth, whose jaw is kind of snapped, I think, and is put back in place of some wires. And I kind of like, is that meant to look like, so it's like a feather headdress, 
but it, it, it spells out madcaps. Is that two S's? Madcaps. Okay, interesting. That is a light cap, of course. Very nice. I do kind of like the light caps, actually. I think of all of them. Oh, this is a zigzag zoomer again. I. Jesus Christ. Wait a second, I've seen these before. These were from a British kids TV show, I think. They were like puppets, and they, they talked and stuff, obviously, because you could tell by the mouths and the googly eyes. Are these like Maltesers? No, these are puppets as well. So these are what puppets looks like. Um, if you've never eaten them before, seen them, they're like small chocolate balls, and usually they've got like a centre, so there'll be like a mint flavour, an orange or something like that. So this is Zigzag Zooms. Pop it in your face. 19. Hang on, so what was, what was the other one? 22. Pop it in your face. So they're all, so this must be like, I wonder if you got these by buying boxes of poppets or something maybe? Um, as like a promotional thing to get t kids to buy them. Probably. Uh, in foods, new blood. Oh, okay. Interesting. Um, so this is the blood donation. <laughs> Madcaps, that's very strange. But again, as I said, this was the 90s. This is like, hey, number 15. This is peak 90s gross out kind of stuff that the kids apparently were mad for. Oh, we've had that one before, Madcaps. Put that in the double pile. Oh, oh, wait. No, that, that was meant to be WC Force, wash, wash Closet Force. Basically, it's a turkey in a toilet. Is that a turkey? No, that's just a man. I was looking at those as if like it was his feathers, but they're clearly just missiles. So yeah, he's kitted out a toilet to be... I, I quite like that one, actually. I, I, I like that. That's Madcaps number 40. Right, one. Uh, we are halfway through. Ooh. Ooh. Pure poison. And that is holographic. Very holographic. Liking that. Number 20. It's picking up as a face for some reason, the number 20. Fischl Slammer Slammer Whammers Flash Caps. Okay. That's okay. So, does this... Yeah, that goes in that series, doesn't it? Slammer Whammers, Official Slammer Whammers. Yeah, I, I won't put it in the same pile, because technically they seem to be different series. Ooh. Sea Search L17. So this is the one, hey, Slamawama Special Edition Collector Cap. That's the same one as the Chinese character we just got. Ooh, it's like an eagle and stuff. The US Navy, I suppose, is what it's going for there. Oh my god, there's so many. Oh, shit, I've pulled two. Hang on. Got um, a rabid cat. Ah, oh, this is caps. Yep, yeah, caps, which is ten. Put that there. Uh, oh. Got a koala and a street light. This is Madcaps, obviously. Chemo again. Well done to Chemo95 there. Or is it Chemo and he drew this in 95? I don't know. But either way, he is he is a dedicated man. Uh, presumably a man, anyway. I don't know. Uh, right. We've got... Oh! Madcaps. Cat kind of thing there. Madcaps. Oh, Madcats. Get it? Because Madcaps, but it's a cat. He is very mad. Uh, it looks like his, his feet have been, like, crushed by metal things. Madcaps number six. Eee. I don't know how many are in the Madcap series, but... Oh, we got Abyss again. Cool. Uh, we've got... No, no. I was going to say, is there a double? It's not. Got a hungry, hungry vulture. He's got a neckerchief on and somehow got, you know, uh, some cutlery, which is very nice. So... So that's just chemo. There's no 95. So is he like, uh, is he trying to differentiate between his artwork of one particular year? I don't know. Oh, oh, this is Z caps again. This is just like a castle entrance. It's kind of cool, but it's a weird idea for a pog kind of thing. Caps, the Z caps kind of like caps. I don't know. They they seem to not not have as much of a like cohesive theme mad rat there we are he's a rat he's he's spraying graffiti because of course he is you can tell this is made in the 90s because like look at his get up uh yeah mad caps very nice 
Man, this person, whoever gave this to the charity shop, was big into madcaps. Okay, we've got like a angry bison or buffalo or a bull. I get no, it's just a bull, isn't it? It's like wearing wearing like a, a weird dress or something. Maybe I. That's a bit of a weird one. Okay, madcaps ninety eight. Fair enough. Uh, oh, okay. We've got like a, a, a um, an Egyptian lion cat thing, I suppose. Madcaps uh, twenty three. Fair enough. Man, I have to start a new madcaps pile in a second. Yo, mad bat, of course, because it sounds a little bit like caps. If you you really think of it. Oh, he's having a drink from a blood pack in a hospital. I imagine the hospital staff are not pleased with that. That's 104. Uh, right, I'm going to make another stack of madcaps then. Oh, we've got... Oh, madcaps. Get it? Because he's got a cap on. And they're about to plug him in to, like, the electricity or something. He's not looking like he's having a good time. That's number 95. Uh... <laughs> I forgot about this one. Oh, I'm gonna have to play the clip, uh, but I have to change a bit there. Remember, Millhouse. He's back in pod form. Wow, that is Millhouse Van Houten, Bart Simpson's spit brother. That literally the meme that I was thinking of about pogs. He he is lit. Oh my god, this is perfect. Thank you, universe. That is incredible. So that's Bongo, Sky Caps, Bongo. Oh, Bongo made the comics, didn't they? I used to collect the Simpsons comics for a while. Cool. There we are. We got Simpsons uh, Pogs. Very nice. Of course we do. Um, don't look, look. Don't look. What? It's. It's spelled like lock, but with two O's. Because if it's look, there shouldn't be a C. Don't look. That's confusing. Right? It's not just me. Right? Okay. Whatever. That's a madcap. 66. Cool. Uh, on to the next. Oh, my Jesus. So this is a Tazo. Oh! Yo, okay. So this is a Tazo. It's not a Pog, but it's in here anyway, so we're still going with it. Son Gohan, boys from Dragon Ball Z. This is in the worst condition I've ever seen a Tazo in, though. That's really unfortunate. That's... Oh! Look at that! Now this... What does that say? Dedo? Dilo? You Dilo? I don't know. But, so this, I think Tazos had, like, a weird game that you'd, like slot them into each other and maybe there was like a Tazo launcher or something? I can't remember. That's pretty cool, it's just a massive shame it's in such bad condition. Because that's super cool, this is like literally prime 90s Dragon Ball Z merch, which is uh... That's pretty cool, I mean it's probably not valuable or anything, but it's just, it's really cool. That is uh, yeah, Super Saiyan Sun Gohan. Very cool, I'll keep that to the side there. Okay, uh, next, oh, Pure Poison again, I think this is from uh, the Slam Whammer Jammer things. Uh, right, oh wait, hang on, wait, no. So Pure Poison must be the series, because this is 19 and this is 20. Yeah, okay, cool. So I guess, yeah, Pure Poison is the series then and it's just different skull illustrations. Oh, this is a Tazo as well. You can see with the side. There we are. This is what a good quality Tazo looks like. Also, I really like the design here because it's just... It's an eyeball. It's what it's meant to be. Now, I think I had some of these as well. I they, I don't think they're from a series. Does that spell something out? Can you guys see anything there? Any words? That looks like an, a P, maybe? Uh, I think I'm looking too much into it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'll put that to the side as a nondescript one, then. Um, no. We've got pool. Uh, an, an ice hockey? No? I don't know what he's doing there. That's just a very strangely dressed green elephant. 
number 71 of the Madcaps. Uh, we're nearing the end now, I'm afraid to say. Oh, we got Zigzag Zog again. So I'm guessing Zig Zigzag Zog is maybe the name of the show. Probably. Or Zig and Zag maybe. Oh yeah, they're called Zig and Zag, aren't they? Right, okay, so these are around before I was born. Uh, so I do apologise uh, for those of you. But yeah, Zig and Zag, there we are. Yeah, that's the name of the show, Zig and Zag. That's Zig, that's Zag, maybe? I don't know. This is their Zooms popper in your face. Yeah, so these came in packs of poppets, I'm guessing. Um, which is cool, you know. Oh, oh, we definitely got a Taz. <gasps> Yo, we got one of the classics. So back in the 90s, we had some uh, Looney Tune Tazos. These are one of the first, I think. There's Bugs playing, like, basically Jimi Hendrix, Bugs Bunny, because all the kids are done with Jimi Hendrix. There we are. 50 to collect, one point. Let's see, what year was this? 1996. And this, of course, was Walker's Snack Foods Limited, um, which I believe in the US and other places is Frito-Lay, or Lay's. But yeah, man, I'm pretty sure I have this one. This is technically my first, like, doubler, but I am I'm definitely not annoyed by that. Hey, we've... Oh, okay. What? We got a, a shoe asking out a lady shoe, like a male shoe, and there's music? Yeah, okay, the the caps, or whatever they're called, they're, they're not as good. Uh, got an Irish spider, Z caps. Yeah, just... 1994, that's cool. I know that you know. And that's really clean. I like the, like... The illustration looks nice, but... Yeah, it's just... The, they're not as, like, interesting, if that makes sense. Um... Oh, is this Zig and Zag again? Is that Zig and Zag? What's even going on anymore? Jesus Christ, they're just abstract monstrosities now, pulling down their shades. Yeah, Zig and Zag zooms, popper in your face, number 20. Oh. Okay, I don't know who they are. I, I, I have never watched Zig and Zag. I'm out of the fandom, I'm afraid. I'd rather be slamming. Slamming. Oh, okay, ah. Oh. See, if that G was, was gone there, that'd have been, like, the perfect 90 summary there. But, yeah. I'd rather be slamming. Slammer Whammers Special Edition Collector Caps, of course. Uh, very nice. I think we're near the end now. Oh. Wait, what does that say? Slug. Slug and a weird kind of thing. Okay, yeah, that's that's not bad. That's probably the uh, that's not is it? Oh, oh, Slug is literally its own series. Okay, I don't know what Slug is though, admittedly. So, ooh, ooh, I've picked up a hefty one here. Zapper. Right, so this is a whammer apparently. So this is the thing you apparently like stack up loads of. Pogs and you drop that on top and it falls or something. I, I don't understand it. Uh, this is a Z. Looks a bit like Dragon Ball Z, doesn't it? Pop it. Ah, oh, Zog and. Yeah, what? Zog and Pop it. Intergalactic Zapper. Okay, cool. So it's a. Uh, it goes the zig and zag thing, I guess. Interesting. Yeah, so this is like. Plastic and quite thick and stuff, obviously. Uh, and I think there's like a few more to go. We've got Eat Up Madcaps. It's a burger. He's angry. Wait, does he want to eat us or do we want to eat him? That is the philosophical question. We've got uh, Z Caps again. It's like a flamingo over. Yeah, I mean, the illustrations are decent, but Z Caps is. Uh, right. I feel like it's the type that you'd find in like a cheaper store because oh my god, this is the third one now of the like glowy madcap thing. Fair enough. That's in good condition as well though. Uh, oh, we've got oh wow, that's the elephant on a trip. That is an interesting one. Very green elephant there. Madcaps obviously. We got like three more I think so. Oh my goodness! Jesus Christ! What has happened to Zig and Zag? They, they both look terrified. I mean, uh, understandably. 
So you can see, <laughs> that's my favourite one so far, that's incredible. Okay then. Uh, right, two more. We, ooh, ooh, wow. Zeus or something? Oh, wow. Yeah, that looks like Zeus or maybe just a wizard or something. Zapping people. That's a Z-Caps I kind of like. Yeah, you know what? I almost take back what I said. I, I don't fully, though. Oh, and the last one is a tired-looking owl who's going to bed. Although the moon is up, so you should be awake, to be honest, Mr. Owl. And that's number four. Right, just going to double check. Yeah. All right, okay, so that's empty. I'm going to go put them into their piles, and then we'll take a final look. All right, so that uh, wraps up all of them. So I've put them into piles. I haven't put them in numerical order or anything yet, but there's the monster uh, monster madcaps, the madcaps, the light caps. Um, I've got that one slug thing that was weird. The Z caps, the uh, the wham, the official wham jammers, slammer jammers. I think the like the limited edition ones. The other Whammer Jammers, uh, we've got that very unfortunately in bad condition Dragon Ball Z Tazo. Uh, the, the Zig and Zag ones, they're just weird. And then there's the there's the like single ones that don't relate to any series. We've got the Millhouse, the Whammer, that really cool eyeball one, and the Bugs Bunny one. And of course those are my uh, spares over there, which I'll probably end up giving to a friend or something, because when I told them about this video they got quite excited. But yeah, that, that's been that's been really fun, actually. You know, just like taking a look back and stuff. I've got a decent collection of mad caps now as well. Between like them, light caps and monster mad caps. I'm gonna um, years ago I bought um, well for a friend who was mainly he uh, as a coin collector. These kind of like small pages, uh, kind of plastic pages where you can slide big coins into and they're perfect for pogs as well apparently because a lot of the reviews mentioned it so I may buy a few of those maybe and like have a small pog collection because I'm not giving these away, they're, they're too cool um, and honestly it kind of makes me wish I'd bought more of these because um, or well like found more of them because this box is really cool, but like this is only half full. Honestly, if I could find like a full box, that would be amazing. So it's just as well I did just that. Uh, indeed, this was the the one I just opened on video was the smallest one. As you can see here, we have a lot more pogs to go through. Also, those are very those are all blank on the back. Interesting one. Um, so yeah, so expect a part two. And a part three, that's right, I uh, <laughs> I saw three of these boxes in the charity shop. So I'm going to split them into three parts because I think it's, otherwise it's going to be about a two hour video or something. And I've got some other plans as well, so uh, stay tuned for that. I will be opening these up in a week or two, and then these in a week or two afterwards. So stay tuned for those, uh, and that's also why I didn't organise all of these, because... I'm wondering if maybe there's almost a full set or something between these three. That would be really cool. But yeah, that wraps up this video, though. It's been a lot of fun looking at these with you guys. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you ever collected Pogs or anything, or Tazos. Um, I, you know, would love to hear people's memories and stuff of them, because they were around when I was, like, really young. Um, so... You know, when I became old enough to really appreciate them, they, they'd kind of been stopped being made. They were only around for about four or five years, from what I read. Um, and unfortunately, those four or five years were spent being like two to six years old, in which case I didn't, didn't really care about them at the time. But now, as a full-grown adult, I, for some reason, do. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. As I said, keep an eye out for the next part in the POG series, the POG-tastic series. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video, and until next time, goodbye!